So guys, for the first step, you're gonna head over to search and type in CMD. Now you want to run it as administrator. And then click on yes. And then once this comes up, we're gonna type in SFC space forward slash scan now and then click on enter. Then you want to run this scan. We can run this scan in the background as you complete the next steps in the video. So you just wanna minimize this. And now for the second step, you're gonna head over to search and type in check for updates. Click on it. And then once you're on this, you're gonna click on check for updates. Make sure your computer is fully up to date. And now for the next step, you're gonna head over to search again and type in task manager. Click on it. And then once you're on this, make sure you're on the processes tab. Now once you're here, where it says disk, you wanna click right here. It's now gonna sort all the applications using the most disk on the top. So in my case, the Windows module installer is taking up the most disk. If you see any weird applications right here on this list that you don't recognize, you wanna click on it and then click on end task. But make sure that it's not a service or a Windows application like one of these. And now after you've done that, on the left hand side, you wanna click on the startup tab. We're now gonna be on startup apps. It's gonna be showing you all the applications that automatically start when your computer turns on. So for example, in my case, security health sysstray starts when my computer turns on. And I know it does that because under the status, it says enabled. Now I don't want it to start when my computer turns on, so I'm gonna click on it and then click on disable. You want to disable all the applications that you don't need to start when your computer turns on. And now for the next step, you're gonna head over to search and type in services, click on it. And then once you're on this, you wanna click on any service one time and then click on S on your keyboard. We're now gonna look for sysmain. You wanna scroll down till we find sysmain, double click on it. Change the startup type to disabled and then click on stop, which will now make the service data stopped and then click on okay. And now for the next step, you wanna come back into CMD. We wanna wait for that first scan that we did earlier to be completed. Once you complete that, we're now gonna type in DISM space forward slash online space forward slash cleanup dash image space forward slash restore health. Click on enter. You now want to run this scan as well. I'm gonna skip the video to when the scan will be completed. And now once that's been done, for the last step, we're just gonna restart the computer and then the problem should be fixed. 